Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to create a non-medical debtor within a desktop app. A non-medical debtor is a debtor that is not a patient but needs an invoice or statement for other services rendered by the practice. Normally, a non-medical debtor will be used when the practice owns a building and rents out the offices or rents out equipment or when they render services to someone else. First, let's navigate to where the non-medical data will be created. Log into the Goodex desktop using your Goodex username and password. From the navigator, double-click on the MedApps module. The data management screen will open. Click on the admittance button on the toolbar. The main member input screen will open. Proceed to click on the plus button to add a new non-medical data. Select the non-medical data radio button in the type of data section. Click on the OK button to continue. A blank main member input screen new data tab will open. Next, we will look into the personal information section. Personal information is the demographic data that is used to identify the person who is responsible for the account. For example, name, surname, ID number and contact details, etc. Please complete or select the option for each of the fields. For an extensive explanation about the group section, please refer to the Create New Normal Data User Manual linked in this video's description. Next, we will take a look at the Medical Aid section. In GoodX, the Medical Aid option is linked to a pricing list, so when the user creates a non-medical data, the user should also create a non-medical Medical Aid option. The non-medical Medical Aid option will then have their own price list, which will be linked to a non-medical data who will have their own billing codes. The billing codes that correspond to the non-medical data will be used when it comes to billing. Please note that although the field name is medical aid, the user must not use the details of the medical aid for payments, but instead obtain the bank account details of the creditor for payments. Please complete or select the option for each of the fields. Now we will go over the group section. The group section will contain all of the groups to which the data will be linked, including the default treating doctor, billing group, service center and so forth. Please complete or select the relevant options for each of the fields. Next, we will go over the guarantor section. The guarantor section will contain the personal information of the person who takes responsibility to settle the debts of the debtor should they fail to pay. Please complete or select the option for each of the fields. Click on the exit button or press the F10 key on the keyboard to close the screen and return to the data manager screen without saving any of the information that was entered or click on the save button or press the F2 key on the keyboard to save the information of the non-medical data and post it to the system. A confirm pop-up will appear to ask whether the user would like to post this record. Click on the cancel button to close the pop-up and return to the main member input screen without posting. Click on the yes button to save the information to the system. The dependent input screen of the newly created data will open. The user may complete or select the option for each of the fields. For an extensive explanation on how to add a dependent, please refer to the Add Dependents user manual linked in this video's description.